Well, the most important thing is trying to get our clients, you know, released. At the very least, on bail. Um, we don't know how possible that is going to be, but there are two of us here, and I have, I have sent out a message to all lawyers who are interested in defending the rule of law to show up so that we can, we can I mean, right now there are only two of us, so there's only so much pressure we can bring to bear, but the more of us there are here, the better. So there will be more, I know that there are more lawyers on their way. We are going to work around the clock to get our clients out of, of, of police custody because they haven't done anything wrong. There were, the third batch of people, I was told, were told that they were being invited. After the first batch and second batch had been arrested, the third batch was told they were being invited only for them to come here and be told that they are under arrest and that their phones have been seized. No, 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 no. We haven't heard from them. We are, they're currently in custody and we are working around the clock to, to, to get them out. Have you, been, have you got the chance to, to see any of your clients? Not the specific client that called me here in the morning. I haven't seen him. Um, we are all quite worried. As you can see, some of their, 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 their friends and colleagues are around. Um, so not that particular client, but yes, I have seen some, some of my friends in, in police custody. So we are going to work around the clock to get them out as well. Okay. Uh, we heard from some of the people gathered here. Um, they are being, those arrested were made to the force right statements about, in the absence of I haven't seen anyone that has told me that they were forced to write statements. Um, I have heard that the, the leader has been, and because I have no evidence of this, I'm cautious with my, my words, but I've heard that the leader has been maltreated inside. Um, but he's a lawyer. Um, yes, o yes, Oliver is a lawyer. He's, he's, quite, he's quite courageous. I'm sure Oliver will handle himself. And when we get him out, not if, when we get him out, we will hear the full story of it and then we will proceed as necessary. So, so um, what timelines are you looking at? We want to get them out today. You want to get them out today? We want to get them out. They haven't done anything. It doesn't make sense. Like, why are they in jail? Think about it. Like, can I, can I send you in right now? I, I can't do it. Why are they in jail for standing around wearing black t-shirts or for declaring that they want to go on a demonstration? They haven't even taken one step to... to they haven't, what have they done wrong? What have they done wrong? The court process doesn't prohibit you. have filed an application for an injunction. That's you are, the, that's the it is an abuse of the process. You cannot... I don't know how to explain this to you, but as lawyers, it is trite to knowledge that you cannot use the court to achieve bad faith ends. You can't, you can't do that, you understand? Of course, it's an abuse. this is literally the definition of abuse of process. You were, you were notified a month ago, a day to the demonstration, you have filed an injunction. That's an abuse of process. There is no court in this. There is no court that's going to uphold this. It is clearly an abu abuse of process. Like, there is no other way I can explain this to you that's an abuse of process. So, so if you are not released to the one I cannot answer that. I cannot answer that. But I will say two things. One... I want to send a message out to all lawyers who are interested in defending the rule of law, Ghana Bar Association, all lawyer groups. You should, every lawyer in this country should know that what is going on is wrong. You, you should have an ethical and moral obligation to speak up in times like this, you understand? The Ghana Bar Association was built by people like Sam Okujeto in the, the, the 70s, fighting for fighting against things like this. We're in a democratic dispensation right now. We shouldn't be seeing things like this. You understand? The president, the current president, built his political reputation of holding mass demonstrations. So for this to be happening under his watch, it is unconscionable. It, it, it blows my mind. I, I could contemplate seeing this under any other government, but not under his government. This is, it's, it's like, look at, look at, he is a, he's a lawyer. He came as a human rights lawyer. Why, why under this government? Are you not incredulous? Are you not incredulous? No, I'm asking you. Are you not incredulous? No, I'm asking you. Are you not incredulous? If you don't answer me, I won't answer any of your questions. Are you not incredulous? No, I won't go ahead. Um, if you don't answer me, I won't, ask, I won't answer any more of your questions. But I'm a journalist. I'm supposed to take. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. So hypothetically speaking, in the kingdom of Umofia, people have said they are going to, people have said they are going to demonstrate, right? They haven't even moved a step, right? The day before the demonstration, the police files an application 
for an injunction. The injunction has not, has not been heard. We don't even know the return date. You haven't even served the people, and then you have arrested them. Does this seem like justice to you? You, you. No, don't give me. Mm. Does it seem like justice to you? Then I'll, ans then I'll answer any more of your questions. Next question. Currently, two lawyers are working round the clock seeking to get bail, possibly, or just get these protesters out of police custody. Prince Ganaku, who is one of the legal representatives here, says that lawyers must be interested in what is happening here and has described it as worrying the arrest of these demonstrators. <laughs>